so hi guys So I think I'm in the middle, I'm really not sure, but if I'm not, you guys are going to tell me about myself anyway, so it doesn't even matter. I guess this is kind of like a reintroduction. For the people that don't know me, hi, I'm Anaya, I make art videos, and I have not been on YouTube for a very, very, very long time. So I decided to like give you guys something today. You can obviously see by the title what we're going to be doing today. But before we get started, I just want to have I just want to say a few things. If you have not joined the Discord, what are you doing? Literally, what are you doing? Like we are in the Discord every single day living it up. Plus, I need some new mods. So, if you have Discord, if you like Discord, join my Discord. I will put the link in the description box. Like you can self promo I, I really don't have many rules in my discord i'm i'm just be honest like i did put some rules but it's mostly like stuff of like being respectful being kind obviously and like no spam it's like everybody is you know everybody can join you do not have to be an artist if you want to join my discord i'll put the link in the description so come join the server link in the description that's done also for those of you who may not know i just came out with a self-growth journal it is on amazon it's called journaling actually isn't stupid this is like a planner slash to-do list slash um just all the things that you need to journal in 2024 so if you want to support an artist like me you know go grab you a book I will literally put it on the screen I'll put it on the screen right here let me know like literally give me some feedback like let me know if you like the book if it helps you let me know any feedback I would love to hear that so without further ado let's really get into this video so I have got a few things from Hobby Lobby and I just wanted to do like a little Hobby Lobby haul or like a little art haul um, I haven't did an art haul since like 2021. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a wait 2021, 2022 maybe. I don't know. I think it, I think it was 2021. I haven't did an art haul in a very very long time. Um, so this is like kind of my like my updated art haul. Everything like that is mostly based off like painting things. Everything that's like related to paint stuff. So. Let's get into it. So the first thing that I've been wanting to get for a very, very long time, and for those of you who may know that watch my, you know, older videos, you have saw that I've been painting on the floor. Never had an easel. So this was kind of like, yeah, very bougie. Bam, right here, hold on the glare. Right here, I got me an easel. It is a up to 32 inches, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, it says it holds up to canvases up to 32 inches. But this is a really great easel. I have not opened it yet. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna front to y'all. I have not opened this easel, so I don't know if it's like sturdy, anything like that. But I just got it because you know I need an easel. <laughs> This was very, this was like very cheap, one of the cheaper easels. Every easel that I saw was like $70 plus and they were like wood and everything like that. But they didn't even look, they didn't even look like they did anything, to be honest. Like I was probably better off making an easel by myself, but I saw this little stand type of thing. Now, before I show you this, this these canvases, let me let y'all know something. So, I really don't be getting no fancy canvases. Like, I'm, I'm just, I'm just keeping it real. Like, 
I don't be getting no fancy canvases. They don't have to be like stretched and all that stuff. I really don't know the difference. Okay, I'm an artist and I'm telling y'all right now, I don't know the difference between a stretched and non stretched and all this at all. These have worked for me. When I tell you these have worked for me, this is all I need. Like, this is really all I need. This is a canvas super it says super value canvases 16 to 20 inches you know the orientation that's what that is and then it's like five that come in a pack now you don't have to get no fancy canvas as long as you like do a good canvas prep like i love me a good canvas prep you know what i do y'all i sandpaper my canvases before I take them out sometimes I don't but <laughs> mostly I do for this is just for like smooth application if you wanted to go on smoother have like a nice little you know pre-prep saw your canvases not saw it don't don't be like ur, ur, ur. don't do that because you're gonna rip a hole in the canvas right now I could tell there's like little tiny indents like let me show y'all hold on as you can see there's little there's little tiny bumps that are like risen is that the word is that a word y'all i don't even know there's little tiny bumps that rise above so i just sandpaper them honestly i would say this step is very very important if you want a smooth canvas that's literally it if y'all want me to show y'all like how i pre prep my canvases and how I do it because other people may be different like other people may prep their canvases different I prep my canvases the way I prep my canvases and if y'all want a video on that or a tutorial on that let me know because I would definitely give it to y'all the next item on my list is inside of a bag when I pick out paintbrushes I really don't look for what they be saying on the package I don't care none of what they be saying on the package. They be like, oh, this is fine, brushel. Nice touch. This is it. I don't care. I literally, when I find brushes, I literally look at the bristles alone. I can tell if something is quality by the bristles. The little watercolor pen, uh, the watercolor brushes, throw them, the, throw them away. If you got them little watercolor brushes, they got the little tiny little bristles that be coming in a watercolor that's like, from Dollar Tree's, throw them out, throw them out. You would never get nowhere with those. I'm so serious. As advice, do not get those. Get something that will last you and that you can take care of for a very long time. Now, I didn't take anything out the package, but I'm probably gonna show you guys these bristles right now. Okay, this is how the brushes look. First of all, these are how the brushes look. Let me tell y'all, I did not know how these bristles was gonna be. And when I tell y'all, I made the right decision. Y'all, these bristles are like, y'all see that in the air? It's like blowing dust, but these bristles are gonna be like silky smooth. This is like, yes, like, oh my God. Silky smooth. And then this brush is honestly going to be really, really good for pre-prep. Big brushes for pre-prep is always important. If you use little brushes, like, it would take you forever. This brush right here. I might just do a brush a a ASMR. Like, y'all. Like, look at this. This is like... This is not an angle, this is like a flat top. And then this is like, this is an angled brush. And then, I really don't know about this uh, this brush, but I'm pretty sure like they say, or Bob Ross, if you watch Bob Ross, he used this for like his trees, eagles. So, I don't really use these type of brushes, I'm not gonna lie, but they look so cool. Whoever invented this was like, let's make the brush flat. <laughs> let's make the brush look like something ran over it. 10 pounds, 30 pounds. And then of course we have the bristle that is very, very sharp. 
and um, it came in like a tube like this because I'm pretty sure they put like a paste on it to make it like really 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 sharp I wanted to get another brush that looks like a very like a like a house brush a house painting brush I got a little house painter brush I'm not gonna take it out but it's so cute y'all y'all can't tell me y'all can't tell me that this brush isn't cute this brush is cute it's eating okay just by itself if I was like yeah I'm a painter and then I whip out my brush and it's like blow they're gonna be like yeah yeah she a painter for real she a painter thank you <laughs> y'all I don't know the technical term for this but y'all I don't know if this is real wood by the way but if it is because you know some of some of the some of the wood be like sandpaper type wood I don't know if I don't know what that's called it's, I don't know this is probably like the sandpaper wood but this y'all like listen to the sound the very very last thing is this painter set of oil paints actually everything that I got today I've been wanting for a very long time except for the canvases I tried out the canvases before but I've been wanting like this for a very long time not the specific like thing but like oil paints um, it's really been a time with y'all literally looking through everything that I have during this haul and everything that I have. Um, really sad to go, but you guys, let me know what videos y'all want from me in the, um, the comments. And if you are a new subscriber, new supporter, um, welcome to the art crew and say hello in the comments. Like, I would love to, like, hear from y'all. I love to like you know talk to y'all and I just got finished actually talking to one of my supporters and I follow her now and um, I I don't know where her, her like her people's call her but she's really been doing really great and she has a, like a live stream for herself and I'll be in there watching so if you you know are seeing this video you know who you are hey hey girl She's in the Discord. Without further ado, I'm Anaya. This is R by Nine, and I'm signing out. Peace. <sighs> I think after this, I'm gonna go eat something. Maybe like some ice cream, some cookies. Yeah. <laughs>